Now we're going to take a look at emails and domains. As a professional, it's super important to make sure that you have a solid website and email address. These serve two purposes. It gives a physical location for your potential clients to visit and learn more about you and your business, and it will make you look a lot more professional and efficient. Let's say, for example, you wanted to get in touch with a company and they had the email address of cinematicsuccess at hotmail.com. Immediately, this reflects your perception of the company and makes you think that they aren't a serious business. Whereas if you had the email address of dan at cinematicsuccess.com, then your perception of the company changes and they seem a lot more credible due to having a business domain. You will then also have the ability to customise what your email address will be. For example, dan at cinematicsuccess.com or support at cinematicsuccess.com. The same goes with domains. If you had wixsite.com forward slash cinematicsuccess or something similar, it doesn't look great from a client's point of view. To buy a domain, I would highly recommend going to GoDaddy. This website allows you to grab all sorts of domains if you wanted to and offer a great first year discount. For example, I got cinematicsuccess.com for 99p. So first head over to godaddy.com Type in the domain you want to search for and then click on search. In an ideal world, this would be your business name. I would always recommend looking for a .com and a .co.uk as these are the most widely used URLs. Having a .net or a .org may make some potential clients a bit skeptical as it may look like you aren't a professional. If your URL is available, fantastic. If not, then there is no harm in changing the name of your website slightly. For example, it could be cinematicsuccesses.com. Now, I wouldn't recommend buying a website off somebody who may already own it as this can be a really expensive expensive and time consuming process. Next you can buy privacy and custom domains but I would say hold off for this for now as there is a more efficient way of doing it. Once you have everything you need, click checkout and add your details. Congratulations, you now own the domain to your website. Now we need to set up a custom email. So from what I've used, G Suite has been the best and most cost efficient way of getting a custom email. So what you'll need to do is head to workspace.google.com and click get started. Next, there will be some business information that you will need to fill in. You'll have a page which asks if you have a domain that you want to use. So click, yes, I have a domain. Enter the domain, create some login details, select your plan, enter your payment details and follow until the payment has been made. You now need to create some custom email addresses. So head to the Google admin console and click on users. From here, click on add new user. Enter in your user's details. And it's important here to always try and keep those personalized, such as your name at businessname.com. Fill in their details and click on add new user. You also have the option here to create a default password, which will then ask them to change it when they log in for the first time. The next step is to create aliases for email addresses. All this does is allow you to have a second email address which will forward to your primary one. For example, any emails that are sent to info at company.com will be forwarded to joeblogs at company.com. This gives another level of professionalism to your business. Finally, you'll need to send a test email. So log into your new user account at businessname.com and send an email to your personal account. Once you receive that email, reply to it. And if the email goes both ways, well done, you're all set up. So that's it for domains and emails, but if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch.